In this video, I'm gonna show you just how easily you can transform the looks of your door in the front of your house just by replacing and installing a brand new handle set. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step in detail just how easy this is to do. And for those of you that would like to or have wanted to replace your handle set with one that looks like this, oftentimes a lot of people don't end up doing it because they're a little bit intimidated by one of the steps that are involved with installing one of these types of handle sets. And that comes to drilling a hole in your door and making sure that it's in the right spot. But I'm going to show you just how easy that actually is to do and also show you an ingenious feature that comes on these quick set handle sets to where you don't have to get that hole absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so obviously the first thing we need to do in order to get this changed out is we need to remove the old door handles. And that can be very easily done by removing this screw over here and this screw over here. The majority of your front doorknobs are going to have these exposed screws and you're going to have one on each side the majority of the time. Now because the doorknob has width to it, it's out away from the plate a little ways, it can make getting to those screws a little bit difficult. But for the most part, you should be able to take any screwdriver, get it in there at an angle, and then just carefully remove those screws. So I'm just going to go ahead and back both of these screws out now. Now with both of those screws out, this doorknob will just come straight off. And the exterior side of the doorknob will now come out of the latch. So now that leaves us just with the latch bolt in the door. So now I need to go ahead and remove this. And that can be very easily done by removing this screw up here on top. And there's a screw down here on the bottom. And then once both of those screws are removed, it will pull right out of the door. And so now I can install my new door latch. Now the thing about these door latches is you're going to need them to come in a couple of different sizes just depending on your particular door. And if you see this right here, this is a little spring loaded lever right here that when you depress it down, you can actually extend this latch out. You see how it lengthened a little bit? I'll go ahead and shorten it and back out. The difference between these two settings is your first one is gonna be two and three eighths, and then your second one is right at two and three quarters. And it will usually come like this. It'll be on the two and three eighths setting. That is generally what most doors are going to be at. So usually you won't have to do anything with this, but if you do find that you need it to be extended a little ways, then yours is going to be at that two and three quarters mark. But one thing you can do before you even insert it into the door is you can take your old door latch that you've already removed, put it right up next to your new one, and then compare the lengths that way. If you find that your old door latch extends out a little bit, well then you need to move it to that two and three quarters. If not, you can leave it on the two and three eighths. And if your old door latch is like mine, where it's also a quick set latch, then it also has that setting on it and you can look at what it's already set to. Now the latches themselves, if we look at the bolt that's coming out of it, you'll see that it's got this little beveled or ramp section right here. It matters which way this faces. So these are actually universal depending on which way your door swings. They can be like this or you can flip them over and they can be like this. But the key to this though is when you look at this bolt and you see that beveled section, you want the side that's angled like this to be facing whichever direction your door swings closed to. So in my case, my door swings closed to the outside, which most front doors are this way. So for the vast majority of you, you will be installing yours the same way I am. So all I need to do now is just push that latch up into the door. And so now that that latch is pushed into place, I just need to secure them with a couple of screws that are included with your doorknob. So I'll just insert one in the top and one in the bottom, just like our old latch. And so now the latch is secured into place. All right, so now that latch is installed, we're now to the step where a lot of people kind of dread doing this job. Or it's at this point, they just lack a little bit of the confidence that they're gonna be able to do it properly because we're gonna have to drill a hole in this door. Now, if your previous door handle looks similarly to the new door handle that you're gonna be installing, so say it looks somewhat like this. If you've already got that hole, it might be in around the area that you need it to be so that you don't have to drill a new hole. But these do come in varying lengths. So it's not just gonna be a guarantee that that hole that's already there from your previous door handle, that it's gonna be in the correct spot. And obviously I did not have a previous door handle that looks like this. It was just a regular door knob. So I am gonna have to drill that hole. Now, for those of you that are wondering why we have to drill a hole is of course you got this top section up here, which has the lever that opens the door. But then we have this section down here and this needs to be mounted to the door. As you can see, there's a little post that's sticking out right here. That's where a screw will get inserted and then secure this and anchor it down to the door. But the good news is most of your new doorknobs or levers are gonna come with a template like this one here. 
It's just a piece of paper. Everything's already pre-measured out. It tells you exactly where things need to be. So in this case, we've got two circles here. This one is actually for if you're installing a deadbolt. So that would go up there. Then obviously this one is where your new doorknob or lever is gonna go. And then these marks down here are then gonna tell you once all this is lined up, exactly where you need to drill your hole. So me personally, I'm not gonna be replacing my deadbolt. I like my smart lock here with the camera on it. It just makes things a whole lot more convenient. I can use my fingerprint to unlock the door or a key code or even use my phone. Which that being said, for your convenience, I'll have links for this if you wanna check it out along with everything else you're gonna see in this video from the new entry door lever to all the tools I'm going to use in this video. I'll have links for everything down in the description down below. When you click on those links, it'll take you to whatever you want to take a look at so you can check it all out for yourself. So since I'm not replacing the deadbolt, I've already flipped that down here on my template and I want to line it up with where my old doorknob was and where the new one's going to go. Now remember, I found that my door latch was at two and three eighths not the two and three quarters, which is gonna be the center of this first line here, not the second one. And this little dotted line here, this gets folded around the edge of the door, so it's gonna really take a lot of the guesswork out of it. And then once I've got that template all lined up, I've got the center of that line centered with the center of my hole here. Then I just take some painter's tape and I just like to hang it in place. So I'm not just having to hold it here the whole time. It'll also allow for me to check all of my measurements again before I drill my hole, just to make sure everything is lined up properly. And then just out of an abundance of caution, I like to just take a level, just gently put it up against that piece of paper so that I'm not wrinkling it at all, and just make sure that it's completely level, which it is. All right, so now we wanna focus down here towards the bottom, because this is where we're gonna be putting our hole. Now that we think we've got everything lined up the way that it needs to be, we know our length is gonna be correct because we're gonna be using this template, but there are two lines here. But remember, I told you that the interior line, or the one that's closer this way, is for our two and three eighths inch setting, which is what this one is. But again, if you have two and three quarters, you're gonna to wanna to use this line over here. Of course, if that's the case, this line should be also lining up with the center of the hole for the door lever. But then we have these three different marks here for different lengths of handle sets. In this case, for this particular handle, we wanna drill out a hole right here on this middle one, which is at nine and one eighths. Now, in order to make my mark here on the door, there's numerous ways you could do this. For me personally, I'm gonna take a nail and I'm gonna make my mark in the door right on this part of the template by just barely tapping this into the door. Now, for those of you that might still be having a little bit of anxiety from doing this, or you wanna make sure that everything is perfectly lined up, let me just further dispel some of that stress in that your hole that you're gonna drill out does not have to be absolutely perfect. We wanna get it as close to perfect as we can, but it does not have to be perfect. And the reason for that is because on these quick set handle sets, What's really great about, especially these newer ones, is if we look down here at the bottom, which is of course what we're making the hole for, so we can put a bolt through the door and then bolt it into, it's flexible. You can move it around. So this really is ingenious in that way, in that you don't have to be perfect. You've got a lot of room for error. Obviously though, if you're way off, you're not gonna be able to adjust this enough to make up for it. But for the most part, most people are gonna be within this range of where this can be moved to. So again, if this is something you've been wanting to do, don't let this be what stops you because you do not have to be perfect. All right, so now that I've made that indentation in my door with the nail, I can go ahead and remove this template. As you can see, that little mark right there, that is my little hole from my nail. But I'm not gonna stop with that. I actually wanna make a little bit bigger hole or indentation in the door. It's gonna provide a little bit of a point for my drill bit so that when I put that drill bit in and I start turning it, that drill bit's not gonna go anywhere and it's gonna stay centered with where I need that hole to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and put my nail in again and just hammer it a little bit harder. Now I've got a bigger hole there. This is gonna be perfect to help keep that drill bit center. All right, so I'm gonna start out with this really small drill bit. This drill bit is 1 8 I just wanna make a small pilot hole first and then I'll work up to the drill bit that I'm ultimately gonna need to use in order to make the hole that I need for the bolt and the portion of the handle set to go through the door. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling through the door. All right, and now I'm all the way through the door with that first drill bit. So now I'm gonna move up to this larger drill bit here. This is a quarter inch, and this should be very close to the size that I need it to be. It might be a little undersized, but you can always make a bigger hole, but you can't really make one smaller. And if I put the drill bit up next to this post here, you can see that it's pretty darn close to the size that I'm gonna need. So again, I'm just gonna do the same thing now that I've got my smaller pilot hole already drilled. That's gonna really help keep this drill bit ultimately stay on the course that it needs to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead, insert that right into the center of that previous hole and just start drilling through the door. 
Now, while I'm doing this, of course, I still do wanna try and make sure that I'm keeping it level and also straight through to the other side of the door because we don't wanna alter the path at all and we just wanna maintain that everything is centered up. So now I'm gonna take that post and kind of dry fit it and see how it fits. And it's fitting in there nice and tight, but it's still going in without having to push it too much. So that's gonna be just about perfect at that quarter inch. All right, so now I can take my new handle set and actually install it into the door. If we look at this little half moon here, when I push down that lever, you'll see this half moon rotates. This is what is actually controlling the door latch as to then depressing it so you can open the door. Well, this little half moon shape has a specific slot in the latch that it needs to go through in order for this to work properly. So when we go to install this, we wanna make sure this little half moon piece here lines up with the half moon hole in the latch. And of course, we already know about the post down here at the bottom that goes into the hole that we just drilled. So this is super easy to install. Again, we wanna make sure that we're lining up each one of our posts with the corresponding holes in the latch. I wanna also pay attention down here to the bottom here at the beginning, insert that post into that hole that we drilled out in the door. Now to get these inserted into the latch, the easiest thing to do is depress the latch itself, so push it down, and then you should be able to line up those posts with the holes and it should just insert pretty easily into each one of those holes in the latch. Just like that. Then we'll just push it all the way down. Now that it's completely pushed down and appears to be installed, to make sure that it's actually operating properly, I wanna push this lever down here and it should operate the latch. So as you can see, it's working properly. So we know that everything was inserted the correct way. So now the exterior portion of this new handle set is installed. So I'm back down here at the bottom at the hole that I drilled out a little bit earlier where that bottom post is inserted in. So now it's at this point that I'm gonna need this little plastic washer and the corresponding bolt, which of course this is all supplied with the new handle set. I'm just gonna take that new bolt, insert it into that plastic washer. Once that's inserted in, I'm gonna insert it into that hole that I drilled out earlier. And then I'm just gonna hand tighten this down until I can't really hand tighten it anymore. So that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to hand tighten it. So I'll go ahead, take my impact now. So I'm just gonna slowly and carefully tighten this bolt down into the bottom portion of that handle set. Now that that's all tightened down into place, I'm now gonna take this decorative cap that's gonna cover all this up so it looks nice and finished. And that just pops in over the top of it and snaps into place. And this part is gonna be incredibly easy to do. All we have to do is take that half moon again on this interior handle, line it up with the half moon in the latch here and then just push it into place. Then we're gonna take the corresponding bolts that come with it, insert it into each side of our interior handle. I'm gonna hand tighten these down again into the posts that they're going into that are coming from the exterior portion that we inserted earlier. Now that I've got those hand tightened, I'm just gonna then take my screwdriver. I'm gonna try and level this out as best as I can to my eye and then just tighten down each one of those screws on each side. Now I don't wanna tighten it down all the way because even to my eye, that looks a little bit crooked. So now I can just take my level and get it lined up to then where that bubble is right in the middle like that. And now I can finish hand tightening it down into place. And then I'll just check it again real quick to make sure that it stayed level and it's perfect. And then I just wanna make sure that the interior portion of this handle works and make sure that that latch is depressing when I push it down or even if I go up with this particular one. So as you can see, it is working properly. Check the exterior side again really quickly and it's also still working. And I also just wanna really quickly remove my current strike plate. As you can see, I've got this sliding piece, which is where my strike plate attaches to. This is a double door entry, and unfortunately the door is not wood, so this is what they put in its place to where you then anchor your strike plate down to. So I'll just line up my strike plate with each one of those holes, take my new screws, and then once I've got those in place, I'll go ahead and tighten them down. And so now the strike plate is installed. And so now I just wanna make sure that my new latch lines up with my new strike plate and the latch fully inserts into that strike plate holding the door closed. And as you can see, I can't just pull the door open and there's really no play in the door. So the strike plate is installed perfectly. If there's a little bit of play or it's not fully seating, you may need to slide your latch either to the outside a little bit more or to the inside, just depending on which issue you're having. But if it lines up, fully seats, and there's really no play in it, 
then you know everything is installed properly. So now our new handle set is completely installed. It looks great. It really changes the look of the entire door. As you saw, it was super easy to install and really should only take around 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes to swap out and install a new handle set. Now, if you do need to also replace the deadbolt, it is very similar, but also much easier, less steps to it. And swapping out the deadbolt really should only add around five to 10 minutes. So overall, super happy with the way that this turned out and it looks way, way better than that old knob that was on there previously. So like always, for your convenience, I'll have links for everything you saw in this video. I'll have links for the handle set that I installed. I'll also have links for matching deadbolts and also the smart deadbolt that you saw that I have installed that also has a camera on it. I'll have links for all of that and all the tools that are required to install them down in the description down below. When you click on those links, it will take you directly to whatever you clicked on so you can check them all out for yourself. Now really quickly before you go, in the past I did a video showing just how easily somebody can break into a home that's not utilizing their locks properly just by using a little piece of plastic. I actually use a water bottle to break into a locked door. I show you why I'm able to do that so you understand and then I also show you how it's supposed to be properly installed and how you can go about fixing it so that can't happen. If that would be of interest to you, all you have to do is click on this video right over here and it'll take you directly to it. But if you'd like to learn more about that smart deadbolt that I showed you in the video that I have installed on my door, you can click on this video right over here and it'll take you directly to that. But if you found value in this video, if you could give it a thumbs up right down below. And of course, if you have any questions or comments still, you can leave those down in the comment section. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.